is a balloon fishing. Hey, welcome back to Tips with Ty. We're going to be talking this balloon fishing game today. Um, this is a, a multi-part series, so if you hadn't seen the other ones, please go watch them. Like I've said before in the other ones, this is a, a game that's in progress. Uncharted territory. I've seen a few videos of people doing this in Cuba. Mm -hmm. So, But balloons do work great. Dollar store balloons. Mm -hmm. So in this video, I'm going to cover the leaders. Now, I kind of base the leaders on the ones that we make when we kayak fish offshore. So that's what I'm basing it on because, once again, uncharted territory with the balloon fishing. This is how I'm making the leaders as of today. I start off with some 43-pound test Malin single-strand hardwire. Now, normally in the kayaks, I go with seven-strand uncoated because it's can, you can tie it. It's very fluid. It does this stuff. But I found that be a problem with the balloon because when the plegics chase the, the bait up, they're flexible and they try to hide under the balloon and get this action and they cut you off a lot. So this little bit stiffer line seems to help out there. And 43 is good for the big plegics because they can't see it as good. You're still going to hang your sharks, plenty of them. And, uh, but you're going to have more hang-ups with the thinner single strand wire. And this stuff is very cheap. I'm talking like 270 290 a bag. So. I cut off about a four foot section and then I'm going to go ahead and put my hook on. Now I could go ahead and put about a seven knot circle hook and call it done. Uh, today we're going to do a, a stinger rig like I do in the kayaks and I'll go ahead and put my first one on. I really like this size. This is a Mustad four, number four hook, but I think this is a four hot. It's bigger. I don't get it. If you get it, comment below. But I like this size better, this little bit bigger size. And that's a VMC. I love those. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put my bottom hook on first. Haywire twist. If you haven't seen how to do a haywire twist, watch some videos on YouTube. Maybe I'll do another video on haywire twist. So I cut off another piece of wire, one foot, and I'm going to go ahead and attach it to this hook here. And we're going to put a stinger, a trailer, a trailer hook off the back. All right, so the, I'm going to go ahead and attach another hook, a stinger hook. And this, where you put this one, is relative to the bait you're going to be using. I know we use a lot of sand trout that are about, you know, that long. So I'm going to put this hook right about here. And if the bait's a little smaller, I can squinch it up. If it's a little longer, it will just won't go quite to the tail. But this is good for me and the baits that we find out there on our beach. All right, so now we're going to work on the end of the leader that actually ties to your main line. Now I used to put uh, a swivel here and then I would do a few feet of 80 pound fluorocarbon or mono. But the problem I had with that was when the bait fish would go up toward the balloon and the predator would come up underneath, the bait fish would seek asylum under the balloon. <laughs> this is a learning process, I'm telling you. And the bait fish would try to hide under the balloon. So the predator would come up and he would hit grab that mono with the bait fish we were getting cut off. So we learned that with all steel, it, it, it's minimizing that some more. So staying with the steel, a little more rigidity. Now, I have these 100-pound Berkeley uh, snap swivels, and these are proving to be a real asset. Now, I know they make something called a balloon clip, but I haven't gotten that far yet, and I will probably get some and see how they work. But this is what I'm doing for now. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this big old 100-pound stainless clip right here. Now on this, if you do you're gonna if you do a haywire twist, you want to do a haywire twist up here, because if this is not flushly broken off, if you use if you use dikes, you're gonna leave a little spike, and that spike will pop your balloon. So this has to be a real pretty um, haywire twist. So you want to take your time on this business end. All right, so I'm attaching this to my main line. My main line in this case is 40 pound braid, and I'll have to explain to y'all later how I arrived on that poundage. But uh, I treat this like a swivel at this point, just a swivel. And I double my braid over. I do that a lot when I'm expecting big fish. And I just do a fisherman's knot, but I do it with doubled over line. I heard a long time ago somebody said, don't be afraid to do that because it doubles your connection. So then I just do a fisherman's knot, but I wrap it like 10 to 12 times. <laughs> got a few more tag ends to cut but that's okay because you doubled your connection to that leader. all right so 
I'm treating that as a swivel, right? But now I've got this thing hanging off and this is where I'm attaching my balloon. All right, so let's go ahead and attach our balloon to our main line. I'm using the snap swivel here as an attachment point. If it was a relatively low wind, let's say like an eight to 12 mile an hour wind, I would blow this thing up big. If it wasn't, still wasn't going out, I would add another balloon, maybe one of the cheaper balloons. This is the punch balloon, three for a dollar. All right, now what I do to get a solid connection is I, I tie it, I tie the balloon first like you normally would, right? And to get a solid connection to the, to the main line, I run it through this, this swivel here, right? And then I just tie it again. And this is why it's important to have that haywire twist gone. I mean, that haywire twist makes such a nice flush. Once again, learning process, folks. This is all going to change, but this is how I'm rolling for now. So there you go. There's your balloon. We've got about three, four, three and a half, four foot of leader in the balloon. So our presentation now is that of when we're trolling in the kayak and it's just kind of just below the surface. This bait is down three or four feet and he's just swimming around like this, double hooked. And that presentation is so attractive to pelagics. Learn a lot with the balloons. We had a 20 plus mile an hour wind yesterday. So this balloon was able to be half the size and you can actually do a longer leader. When you have the longer leader, you need to have stronger wind to drag it over the first couple bars. So it's just kind of tweaking with it. And if you don't have as much wind, add balloons. To, and if you want more leader, you're going to have to add more balloons. If you've got a strong wind, it's just playing with it. I forgot a critical part of this. <laughs> I'm always forgetting something. Oh, good for you, Ty. Thanks, Sinker. All right, now I forgot to tell y'all something. Before you put that first hook on, slide a little quarter ounce, I guess. Wait, this has been a, a big asset. I've discovered this when we had a 20 mile an hour wind, the balloon was skipping, and it was actually pulling the bait up really up to the surface. And, uh, and the balloon was bouncing a lot, causing a lot of wackiness. So um, adding this little weight on there actually snugged the balloon down to the water surface and keeps the bait from running up toward the balloon as much. And I think our presentation is twice as good with just that little bit of weight on there. And sometimes we do that when we're trolling behind the kayaks too, just to drop it a little bit in the water column. But that's pretty much it. This is a rig we took out yesterday. And you can see how I tied it directly to that swivel. And this popped. A fish hit it or something, it went down, popped, but we still get the balloon back. So nothing's left out at sea. And I just stack it all up next to the cooler and bring it all home with me, all the trash. There's a little bit of leader trash and balloon trash. So that's how we rig up the, the leader and the balloon for balloon fishing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch y'all next time right here on Tips with Todd. We're going to talk about rods next, so look out. <laughs>